As educators, we strive to provide the most up-to-date tools to our students in order to prepare them for their future professional life. As you know, we are in the middle of a technology-driven revolution where 3D, CAD CAM, virtual planning are and certainly will be part of our orthodontic profession. You probably have heard of 3D printing. The purpose of this study was to apply this technology to fabricate an IREX. We met Simon a few years ago. He aimed to open an alginate free clinic, for example, producing orthodontic printed metallic appliances directly from 3D scans. My problem four years ago was that I had a scanner producing awesome 3D pictures and files, but nobody building an appliance on a 3D scan without the detour of printing costs. But you were able at this time to design with the tree shape software a basic structure of a hybrid, just leaving space for the regular expansion screw in the palette. Let's have a look at this designing software. It's pretty fancy, believe me. Now here you can see how the bonding side of the appliance is designed. The distance to the two surfaces is already pretty much in mind in this case. After the surrounding of the structure is completed, it takes usually a while until the computer calculates the complete part. Let's bring this 3D virtual design to real life. All of you have certainly heard of resin 3D printing, but the same is possible with metal also. A technology called laser sintering or laser melting. Dentaro is producing the Ammonium Star, a chromium cobalt tungsten alloy for prosthodontics. So we choose this material to print our appliances. This is what you see in the video right now. The grey surface is the metal alloy powder laid down in a thin layer. Locally, the laser is melting the metal powder, generating the desired structure. Then, a new powder layer is added and the process goes on. Thus, the appliance is built layer by layer. Here is one appliance, polished and ready to be bonded in the mouth. Next step is bonding to the teeth. Usually, I put Scotch Bond Universal by 3M as a seal arm, then add Transbond XT and it's ready to be put in the mouth. Of course, the area where the Hyrax will be bonded must be dry and clean. For that, I usually use the normal dry field system. It's very user-friendly. Have you noticed? You don't even need separators. Our postgraduate students love this CAD CAM technology. And our patients like it too. They don't have to have a dull impression any longer. Let's see how we can utilize this technology even further. Watch this space. And we hope this video will encourage you to read our article.